makeup all over my fingers everywhere. I'd be a terrible burglar. Hello, my name's Florrie White and I'm a makeup artist. Today I'm going to show you some tips how to cover dark circles and bags around the eye. Step one, I'm using MAC Studio Conceal and Correct. I'm going to conceal the area and then correct the darkness. So for me, pale skinned, um, the yellow helps conceal. I have quite a pinky skin tone, so actually the yellow combats the pinkiness. And I love the applicator because you really can get into around the eye. I like to dot it on. And as the skin is thinner around the eyes, I always apply an eye cream first. And this helps the product melt into the skin. You don't want the product sitting on top of the skin, especially if you've got wrinkles and it sits in the wrinkles. So I'm blending it in. The warmth of your fingers is gonna melt the product into your skin. So at the end of step one, the target area has been evened out and concealed. And now I want to go back in with the corrector end of the product. So the corrector product, you see it's very pink, which works on my skin tone. And I think you have to work out what skin tone you have. And so if you've got a darker skin tone, the shadows are really ashen, go for something that's a bit more orange. It might seem a bit scary, but when you apply it to the dark shadow, you'll see that it cuts the darkness and adds light. So while this seems quite scientific, I think don't bamboozle your head with all these rules and why certain colors cut out other colors. Just play and try out with different colors and then you'll find your right shade. So people often forget this little dark shadow in here. People are very good at hiding the shadows under the eye, but adding lightness in here opens out the eye. So I've also added a dot on the outer corner of the eye, and I really feel this sort of opens out the eye if you haven't had enough sleep. It really gives a brightness to the eyes. And then I'll go to the main culprit, the darkest shadow, which is here, and just really placing it in, adding like a pool of light in the dark shadow. And again, tapping and creating more light around the eye. Step three. So while I've concealed and corrected, I now want to add a highlight. So adding more light around the eyes is going to open out um, my eyes, make me look more rested. And I found as I get older, my sockets are becoming slightly more sunken. So I want to add more light in there. So I'm going to use number seven, Instant Radiance, which is a concealer, but it acts as a highlighter. And I'm going to apply it again in this dark socket. And a little trick I learned from Salma Hayek. So I'm then going to let the concealer sit and dry a little bit. I don't know why she does this, but it works. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and pat it in. I let her do this to herself. I think you have to do it to yourself, otherwise it can be quite violent. But also I find doing this sort of tapping process, it's a little bit of effluage around the eyes. Step four, the products are in place. And I just want to keep them in place. So I'm going to use Laura Mercier Under Eye Brightener Powder, which is so finely milled there's no fear of getting it stuck in the lines, if you have any. So taking a very small brush, dusting the powder and flicking off the excess. And I'm just going to place it softly around the eye and then brush it out. I always like to apply makeup brushing it out because I feel that you're lifting up the face. So even though on the packet it says it's an under eye brightener powder. I've also found applying it on the uh, lids of the eye really sets makeup and also stops your eyeliner from transferring. So follow the rules of what the product says it's going to do and then see how you can make it work in different ways. Multitasking like most of us women. So these are my four steps to covering dark circles, disguising a multitude of sins whatever you've been up to. <laughs> That's silly.